Army of the Dead just showed us some brand new footage in our new Twitter spot over on uh, Zack Snyder's Twitter account, so let's take a look at the new stuff and break it down. First up, what we see a lot of here in this trailer is just the actual movement and the communication between these alpha zombies. The spot kicks right open with the Queen Alpha hopping down uh, from that vehicle we've seen before when her and the other alpha take Phil Rossi's character, Burt Cummins, to the, the rest of the group, obviously to try and bait them out or something like that. As we see her hop down here, she's hopping on all fours, almost kind of spider like looks very agile uh, very athletic very menacing her eyes are terrifying and i'm wondering if those are uh, yellow and red eyes are exclusive to the alpha zombies and uh, not just the every zombie in the shamblers as well we also hear more dialogue from Lily's character basically telling the rest of the group like, you know, you haven't been in Vegas for a while, you don't understand, they're different now, they're stronger, they're faster, you know, these are things straight from your nightmares, it's different from before. And in talking about before, we see a shot which I believe is actually from the initial breakout, the outbreak of the virus. We see some shambles behind uh, Batista's character, Scott Ward, as he's helping escort this guy out of there. And I've not seen him before, and uh, Batista looks like he's dressed different here than he is in the rest of the trailers. He's not got the red jerry can on him either. So I believe this is during that initial breakout where... Uh, Scott Ward founded Last Vengeance, the zombie killing team, and they helped get people out of the city and saved a lot of people as well. And it looks like he's saving this guy here. And I just want to mention the shots look really cool, and I'm really liking this dream lens that they used uh, to film the, the filming. Uh, this is Zack Snyder's first digital film. Uh, and it's looking really good, this dream lens that he shot the whole movie in. It puts the focus right on whoever is in the middle of the screen, basically, and who's ever in the forefront. Really blurs out the backgrounds, but it gives it this almost dreamlike feel, and I suppose that's where the name of the lens comes from. But I actually really like it, and I'm liking the looks of these shots that we are getting. I know some people might not, uh, but we'll need to see how it goes through the whole runtime of the film. But so far from these trailers, it's looking very stylized, very cool, and it looks like it will really highlight the action. And action's one thing we know Snyder can do very well. Then we see some more cool shots of the alpha zombies. We see a brand new shot of Zeus. His hair's all grown out now since we've seen him before with shorter hair. And uh, he's just looking badass. He's screaming something. He's pissed about something. Looks like he's got a gunshot to his right shoulder there. And yeah, he's looking like he just ate something as well. And he's looking pretty pissed off. As we can see him communicating with the queen zombie here. She just looks so menacing and so terrifying. I can't wait to see her in this film. Uh, yeah, some very creepy, scary shots of these alphas. We also see Kate Ward, Ella Purnell's character, squeezing through burnt out cars with, uh, you know, burnt out skeletons in front of her, probably hunkering down trying to hide from the fighting that is going on around her. Then we get another brand new shot of the King of the Alphas, uh, Zeus again, as he puts on his helmet to ready himself for battle. Obviously his military you know, training is maybe in his brain slightly still and he knows that he needs a helmet to take on a team like this. We then get another terrifying shot of the Queen Zombie just screaming in Burt Cummins' face as they use him for bait, obviously telling him don't fucking go anywhere or, you know, you're dead meat, which I'm pretty sure he probably is. Oh, anyway, uh, he looks like he's going to absolutely go through it in this film. His character definitely looks like it's got some scary moments ahead. Then we actually see someone turning into what I believe is an alpha zombie because of those red and yellow eyes again. And I actually thought is that Samantha Wynn's character, uh, but I'm not too sure if it's Cruz. It did look kind of similar, but it just could be another random alpha zombie or one of the first ones being turned, who knows. Because in the reverse shot we actually do see Samantha Wynn's character. This is when she gets separated from the squad and swamped by zombies in this kitchen area of like a hotel and apparently she just goes fucking nuts. She, she lets out this primal scream in this spot and yeah I can't wait to see her kick zombie ass. 
We also get a new shot of the Alpha Zombies all running into the Olympus Hotel, obviously being called there by Zeus himself. And it's just really cool. You really feel part of them. I'm really liking the cinematography and that kind of handheld shot running in with them. And once again, that dream lens making everything look very, very cool. Then we get a shot of the Olympus burnt out. I think we've seen this one before. I'm not too sure. We actually see Zeus standing there. This is during the initial outbreak because Zeus has his like army haircut. This is just... You know, when he's been turned in Area 51 and escaped to Vegas, maybe the Olympus is getting like bombed or something like that. And obviously him looking up to the statue of Zeus is a hint to his name. And we see one of the unluckiest people I've ever seen in my life, this guy parachuting down into Vegas, no idea why he's doing that. Was he in a jet and crashed and had to, like, I don't know, escape or something like that? I can't really make out the insignias on his helmet or anything like that, so I have no idea what he's doing. But we can see him try to shoot before he lands and he is swamped by the horde and man, he's going to be pulled apart, that's going to be rough. Then, as we're told, you know, these alphas are the things and nightmares. We see that uh, soldier calling in the airstrike as he's just surrounded by shamblers. Honestly, getting blown up is probably a better way to go than, you know, being left to all those hungry mouths. Then the TV spot just, you know, finishes off with Zeus giving out his rally call to all his alphas as Burt Cummins lies there terrified. Uh, and then right at the end, we see a little uh, silhouette of Zeus as he has just escaped Area 51 and there's some destruction in his path. Anyway, just a quick little breakdown of this Twitter spot, I think we'll call it, because I don't think it's a TV spot, it's made for Twitter, it's got that aspect ratio and social media and all that kind of jazz. But anyway, yeah, it was cool to see some more shots of these alphas and, you know, just get some more information and hear the characters, you know, talk about them a bit more. Let me know what you made of it in the comments section down below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, and if you're new here, subscribe. As always, thank you very much for watching and good night.